All right. Uh, let's see. What do we wonder? Did I do a bad? I did a little bit of a bad. Uh, so I've somehow managed to lock this game on Inferno mode. I don't know how. I can fix it. Want more peeps? Absolutely. Uh, let's see. I might have to reset the room though, because I'm pretty sure I can't change off of Inferno mode. Wait, no, I can't change from Inferno mode here. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I, I was just messing around with some hacksies. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, you're worried about the weapon and armor limits. Oh yeah, I managed to turn those off too. <laughs> uh, so honestly, I should probably go just re-enable them, but uh, turns out you can actually forcibly turn them off. Uh, yeah, you have Inferno legit. I mean, technically I do too. It's just on my PS4, which is a bit of a bit of a pain. But yeah, Jemroth, you are more than uh, more than welcome to join us if you are uh, around and available. Yep, there you are. Perfect. I'm also in listening in both of you. Now, I will admit, uh... <laughs> uh... So, here we have the three stages of people. For starters, me, who's screwing around a little bit with uh, equipment and items and so on and so forth. <laughs> and then Vintersoul. <laughs> who's been playing legitimately the entire way through. And Jebra, <laughs> who has cheated at the point where he's got 650,000 HP. Or is that million? It was in the millions. Okay, I'm going to reboot this uh, room with the uh, correct weapon and armor limits and the correct difficulty because, holy butts, um, we shouldn't have those. Uh-oh. Does not let me change that. Uh-oh. Give me a second. I might actually have to uh, use Sheet Engine to fix this. Okay, online. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can turn this off. Because, so here's the thing. I can't, it won't let me touch those options. If you need, you can host it. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I turned off the weapon and level uh, weapon level limit and the armor limit because I wanted to mess around uh, and see if I could, like, farm some Inferno Mo gear and just screw around in general. I didn't realize that actually uh, doing so actually just disables everything uh, everything permanently until I re-unlock that. Uh, yeah, Ventressel, you want to you wanna just host? Uh, tell me the mission to go to. Perfect. Um... I, I can do that rather easily. I mean, otherwise we could actually just have you guys manually adjust what your equipment is uh, to be relatively fair. And it's not like I haven't played this before, that is true. Um, honestly, I'm just going to host it. I'm just going to leave it up to you guys to set your equipment to the right thing, and that shouldn't be an issue. I mean, really, Gemroth, uh, you can just turn your armor down to what you needed. I just wanted to see if I can manually turn it down. At the very least, I wanted to switch it off of Inferno mode. Okay, so... I've got 281 armor. I would say, uh, if you set your armor to like, well, let's see what Vintersoul's at. Vintersoul's at, uh, 1,791. If you guys want to set your HP to like 750, that's probably all right. I mean, once again, it's not like I haven't played this before. So if you guys are slightly overpowered, then that's, that's fine. I'm not going to be too bothered. I mean, hell. I've even considered doing the same thing. The only thing I would say is, Jemroth, you should probably switch your weapons to be something within the ran range of... I think level 12 is... Uh, it's either level, like... Uh, let's say about level 8 is the maximum you want to go for, equipment-wise. Okay, and we're doing extermination.
Yeah, because what did it let me do? Yeah, I think level 8 is, is where you're going to want to stop. Because I have a couple of level 7s. And we'll just see how it goes from there. I don't know. Cheating is fun, but apparently cheating has some unintended consequences. Mild, but still. Anyway, how are people doing today on a nice, relaxing Saturday? Uh, Gemroth, you might want to turn your HP down. Because 1865 is uh, still actually pretty damn high. If you notice, uh, Kix and myself are solidly below 300. So you're probably going to want 500. Uh, if you're doing a wing diver, you should probably be at 500 max, give or take. Or 150. I mean, it's up to you. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. We were just waiting on Vintersoul. Unfortunately, Vintersoul is rolling Fencer. Oh, speaking of, what am I? What do I want to do? I could keep doing Air Raider, or I could switch from my Fencer equipment. I certainly enjoy Air Raider, but I played Air Raider. What do you guys think in chat? Should I should I try uh Fencer or should I should I keep with uh Should I keep with stuff? And yeah, Jimroth, I think that's an that's that's a perfect amount of armor, at least for a while, and we'll just scale it up. Uh Yeah, honestly, I think for now I'll I'll just roll uh Air Raider, because honestly, the uh, the sweet artillery is fun to work with. Also, I've got a thing that I should probably use. You guys are way too affable for my own good. It's a problem. Hi. Okay. Oh, right. I've got actual EDF gear now. I've been playing this, I'm not going to say off camera. Oh. I feel like one of my things added fire that I didn't mean to add, but you know what? So be it. I am here. I certainly hope that isn't, like, destroying you guys. Because that'd be maybe inconvenient. Okay, combat boor uh, bomber Kamui. Bango. Yeah, the nice part is, because I'm actually playing with, uh, with other players, you guys, uh, I more or less get to actually use my artillery, the, uh, the longer cooldown things that I wouldn't normally be able to use when I'm playing solo. Huh. My... Uh... All of my Twitch-related tabs just glitched out. That's a problem. Is my stream still up, at least? It looks like that's okay. That's weird. You guys dealing with this, or am I dealing with it too? Okay, well, anyway. I can go back to things. I can help. But yeah, because because I've got... Uh... <laughs> wow. What is that gun? Uh, because I've got a bunch of people farm score for me, I can actually use heavy bombers and whatnot. As opposed to just cycling the uh, neutralized cannons and whatnot. My one fear is I'm going to hit a couple of you. But honestly, it doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage yet. So that's probably... We're probably okay. Hmm. I'll save my, uh, my big guns for the next rounds.
Where'd kicks? Where'd kicks even go? Uh, is he in the sky or did we lose? Oh, he disconnected again. I should probably pay attention. I'm dying. Okay. Do we have any more friends? There they are. We, uh... And I don't even know where they are. I'm just gonna deal with this problem the most- the best way. Just drop- Just drop everything. It'll be okay. Unfortunately, I get the distinct feeling my- my, uh, fire bomber is not actually that effective. It looks like it does a lot of damage. It probably would work really well if we had, like, whole hordes of fire ants rolling around. Or fire ants, red ants. Well, I will summon my mecha. It's probably too late. Maybe not. Maybe my choices here are okay. Also, probably best to get out of the way. We... I haven't actually checked what this one does. And that's fine. Because it'll work out. I just need an adequate amount of firepower. And a bunch of willing victims. Or unwilling victims. I don't know. They've never really, like, gotten into whether or not any of these ants or aliens are even remotely close to sentient. Like, even the, uh... Even the, like... Actually, this guy's pretty quick. As far as, like, mechs go. Usually I'm kind of like, oh god, why are they so slow? But this one, this one goes pretty quick. Of course, I'm almost out of rockets, but whatever. But, like, they never really clarified whether or not the aliens in the suits or the frogs in this game are actually sentient, or... They talk, but they never, like, they never seem to react to anything apart from just dying. And then, like, making noises. Well, it's quick, I like it, it runs out of ammo and... Like, near instantly. Hey! Uh, welcome to uh, Stumpton, Associated Raiders. How did you guys enjoy, uh, your EDF experience? Because I've been, uh... I've been low-key trying to get more people to play these games because they're really, really fun. And, uh... And it was kind of fun seeing you guys playing it. Really, I was only uh, I was at the zoo yesterday, so I couldn't even see who was who was actually uh, who got to play yesterday. But I was watching today. Let's see, cheat engine idea: ammo and speed, then go mech. I actually okay, so I I'm gonna try and avoid cheating really flagrantly until we hit Inferno mode, and then you know who cares. Uh, but there's actually some really ridiculous uh, things that you can do with cheat engine. Very specifically, there's one that makes it so you have infinite ammo and rapid fire all at once, which, oh my god, I'm in the wrong spot. And now dying. I'm in trouble. Red ants can suck a duck. Oh. Am I? Nope. Alright, screw it. Oh, I lived. Or Gemroth saved me. Eh, tomato, tomato. Firebombs. Okay. Please don't. Please don't bite me. I'm flashy and very killable. And I don't have a whole lot of guns to deal with you right now. Thank you. Uh, let's see. But yeah, at some point I'd like to sit down and uh, mess around with some of the more like egregious cheats in this game. Uh, just because. I, I was messing with it earlier. Turns out, uh... Imagine this gun, the neutralized cannon with infinite ammo and rapid fire. Effectively, space just decides it suddenly hates whatever I'm pointed at and shoots it to oblivion. It's amazing. I love it. I'm 
Unfortunately, my maximum range on the neutralized cannon is kind of garbage. So I guess I'm just going to bomb this guy, and it'll just... It'll work out. Oh, the fire... The fire gun, or the, the fire bombardment, really does not have nearly as much range as I was kind of hoping for. Oh, well. We're... I'm too pretty for this world. Hello, bush. Alright, limpid guns and blacker. Eh. Yeah, you know what? Let's go let's go fencer for a little while. Uh, let's see. I do have the auto shotguns. I don't have a whole lot of other things. Hmm. What would be better, cannon or the shotgun? You know, honestly, I think I'm gonna roll the shotguns. And we have the light mortar. I could try the hit. No. Uh, well, hmm. Now, it doesn't look like the heavy cannon has the uh, jump booster. Do I have any other gear, though? I have an add booster, consecutive boost, and a wild exoskeleton. Ooh, yes. What does the wild one do? Okay, I think that actually is a DLC item. But you know what? I'll take it. So I should actually be able to move around a lot better now. Let's see. Uh, real question. Can you replay that mission and let Jemroth have free reign over his loadout? I could, but if I'm going to do that, then what I should do is, uh, is do the exact same thing myself. Uh, I think Jemroth is switching his equipment around. I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Yeah, he's he's switching it slow. I'm using such garbage equipment. It's bad. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to uh I don't think I'm going to Venture Soul, by the way, you're using level 20 gear for this. You might want to tone that down. Like... I give up. Twitch is just busted on my end. I guess I'll just read chat on my phone. Uh, but both you... Both... All of you guys are... Well, all you guys except for Kicks are, are using and abusing the fact that I hacked the limits off by accident. Well, not accident. It was very much on purpose. Let's... Let's be honest here. Uh, let's see. Well. I'm not actually sure if these shotguns are going to be particularly effective at killing these guys. Nope, it's not. I'm just going to go for the ants and we'll just... I'll just make it work. Or die. I can fight some things on this level. Okay. It seems like my the real answer is die. Cuz these suckers hurt. All oh, those cruise missiles are real scary up close. But yeah, hopefully I can get some decent decent gear for this uh fencer. Also, yeah, with the uh with the right movement upgrades on the fencer, this isn't so bad. I just always hated how slow they were prior to this. F Fencers in 4.1 were not uh, were not fun. Yeah, they're not slow. I, yeah, I just hated the like default movement speed. But yeah, with the with the right amount of not in 4.1 either. Well, you had to do the like weird dash uh, dash blast spear thing. It wasn't quite the same. Yeah, da dash canceling. It's like, it works. It just... Oh, boy. And I'm dead. Ow.
Okay. Thank you guys for having way more HP than me. I guess that is the, uh, that is the... Downside? Uh, offset? Man, I don't even know. Can I hit that from here? No, but you guys can. I'm back. Wish to shoot you. I'm using wildly inferior gear. Even by these standards. See, did you get the full DLC for this game? I saw that it was 110 for all of them. No, I only got some of the DLC. Uh, I mostly picked up the DLC that I thought would be funny. Uh, or that we hadn't already seen. So, like, for example, I didn't actually pick up the, uh, the body pillow. One, because I think body pillows are kind of weird. Uh, and two, because we already saw Ventressel use it. I can get some distance here. Oh, is this the uh is this the mission where the the frogs show up? It is. Personally, I don't think any of the DLC is worth it unless unless it comes with like a mission pack. Uh almost all the DLC is always just like fluff. Oh. Grand scheme of things, this positioning is uh dubious at best and I probably shouldn't be here. Oh, okay, so that one's gonna launch. Oh, good. Ow. Well, I was hoping that I could actually, like, shoot one a little bit, but they can shoot through buildings that have no physical... ...presence. Jesus Christ. A maxed out, uh, a maxed out, a decently good... Fencer is ridiculous. Ow. And yeah, I guess I guess I should probably actually do uh longer range stuff. Cause I think I'm just gonna die otherwise. Or remain dead forever? I'm it's about about the same. Yay. Oh god. Well, that didn't last long. Venture Soul, I believe in you again, as usual. So the real answer is just we just need frogs, and that's that's the eternal balancer. Because holy shit, frogs hurt. Stop moving, you damn frig. Yeah. Well, I killed all of one frog. This is why hard mode was like real brutal for me. I think this is one of the first missions where I was like, yeah, I could try hard mode back when I was playing this on PS4. That was a mistake. Did it survive? It did. There we go. It survived, but it didn't survive that well. Uh, that is, okay, it did die. Got worried for a second. How's that? Yeah, they're just leaving. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna roll, uh, Fencer for a little while. Maybe. Because they're fast, and I'm appreciating that HP pool. And they're also one of the only, uh... Oh, round two. Gemroth, don't... don't pick it up, please. Gemroth, okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, you are barely hurt, why would you... Why would you pick that up? Time to paint the town grape. That is very accurate. Okay, that one's opening.
Whoa. Uh oh. Oh! We survived. Okay. We, sir, we deserve no survival here, but you know what? It's okay. All right, so I might want to switch out the shotguns. They're great against, oh, hi, look at all these things. Uh, let's see, so I got some cannons, I got some missile launchers, I got some more cannons. Uh, let's see, some more shield related stuff. The flame revolver, which I remember being decent. I don't remember which, which one though, but all right, let's, Clear all these. Uh, let's see. So this is this is the one with the frogs that we had to like do a big murder on. Uh, let's see. So what do we what do we got that's better than this? What is the range? Okay, the flame revolver is a close range auto cannon. So let's see. What's the Levi- <laughs> Oh, I need somebody with a guide kit to use the uh, Leviathan. And I probably shouldn't. It looks kind of fun, but it's not that amazing. And yeah, lock-on time is 20, 25 seconds. That's, that's a bit dumb. I'm just gonna roll dispersal mortars, maybe. And the cannon shot. I don't actually know if this is the right idea. Yeah, kits can give you like uh, five times lock time. Yeah. Let's see, does the hammer have a dash? Okay, thru thrust dash. It's probably got the force blade because that goes a bit faster. And do I have a better. Add booster? No. We do have a number of, like, shield-related boosters, but later. Okay. And, yeah, this seems like a much, much more reasonable set of loadouts. Yeah, you're keeping your spirit. That's, f that's fine. I'm not too bothered. I just don't want this to be like this white, weird, uneven, like, carry cakewalk, if that makes sense. Because, like, I don't mind us just kind of, like, uh, raffle stomping everything into oblivion. But, like, I have to kind of participate. Otherwise, it just sucks. Okay, but I think the real answer is just... Oh! That cannon shot is what Ventrasol was using earlier. That seems fun. I'm still going to die. Because I'm a big and very killable fellow. I can try and mortar things from even farther away. We'll see. We. I want a gun that is effectively just a cannon the size of the fen fencer, and I just aim it in a direction and it just shoots. And it just destroys. Okay. Well, made very short work of those fellows. Eh, these don't pick up all the HP. I guess you probably need it more than me. Well, 
I gotta give it to the dispersal mortars. They're pretty effective. Hard as biscuits to aim, though. How is he still alive? I forgot, never mind. Frogs in hard mode are just like stupidly. Well, I'm down. Frogs in hard mode are just stupidly difficult, too. Oh, boy. Oh, I should probably recolor my armor at some point. Maybe I should just bring a shield. That'd certainly make the, uh, make this easier. Hi! Okay, that one's alive. Okay. Yep, yeah, nope, frogs frogs are just the great equalizer I think we needed going into this. Uh this is probably a mistake. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay. There's a lot more frogs where that came from. Maybe I want to go Air Raider, just so I can bring the, uh, freaking, uh, medical transport along. <laughs> it would certainly, uh, it would certainly bypass some of our HP issues. Has anyone seen where your bike went? It, I think it actually shows up on the map. Unless I'm mistaken. It probably died. Okay. I have to be aware the other frogs might come investigating. Very real possibility. Alternatively, if I just hang out up here, safety might not be guaranteed, but safe safety uh I don't remember being able to jump this high. But you know what? That's okay. I'm just going to hang out on top of this rooftop. There's a first person mode. For me to hang out in. Oh, I'm just missing these guys terribly. Okay. Well, I'm going to say my idea was terrible, but it is also allowing me to survive. But yeah, it might be a better idea to bring the cannon shot for next time. It seems like it's got a little bit more oomph to it. And also easier to easier to shoot. I can at least hit a frog. Well, grand scheme of things kind of works out actually. Sop Jam Roth. Enjoy my 13 HP that I have shared with you. Uh, 
Okay, what else do we got? Just more, more, more freaks. Immediately said freaks are distant, but that's okay. Okay, pretty sure didn't actually even harm that guy, but that's okay. Well, I think it worked. Some amount of this has to have been my my handiwork. I just can't imagine it's much. Also, that, that giant glowing beam is terrifying. Whatever it is. Okay. Well, hopefully my armor will just, like, outpace everything. Why am I getting so little ar uh, fencer armor? I have no idea. Okay, so I got a dash cell. I got more leg exoskeleton stuff. A power dine. Huh. And some other related goodies. So what's that? Output beam cannon directly mounted onto a power powered exoskeleton. Oh, cannot be reloaded though. That sucks. Oh, you can zoom with the uh, heavy mortar. Okay. Class equipment. Okay, instead of the oh, I see. Well, the heavy mortar does a stupid amount of damage. Reload time. Slow as shit. You know what? We're going with it. I mean, honestly, the uh, cannon shot force blade combo seemed to have worked out fine anyway. Okay, so add booster. Gives me extra consecutive boosts. And horizontal boost speed bonus. What is that one? Walking speed up. I wonder if I could just have two of these. I'm gonna keep the add booster for the time being. Getting up in the sky with mortars seems like a good idea. What mission are we even doing? Eh. It's more frogs. Uh, let's see. For people wondering, tonight we're going to be playing EDF5. And, uh... Wait, jump stack with equipment? Sorry. Uh, wish the chat log would stick around a little bit longer. Anyway, uh, we're going to be doing EDF5 for a while. And then when I get bored or my hand starts hurting, I'm going to switch over to Dragon Quest Builders. And then if, uh, if I, for some mysterious reason... Oh, you can't have two dash cells stack. Okay, so these have a little bit more of a range to them. Oh, there we go, it's shift. Well, I'm digging the mortars for this. I still wish they fired in a totally straight line. But that's okay. I can't, I can't have everything. Why building? My building. Uh, 
I was using that. Let's see. Anything here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the range of this is 2,300. Previous one was far less than that. Yup. There's a lot of spiders. I'm not actually mad about the whole building business. I'd be a massive hypocrite if I was. Yeah, I'll probably just roll this combo at least for a little while. The cannon shot's pretty effective. But if I do need to get down and dirty, the melee combo isn't terrible. Long reload times, though. Overkill. Oh, I think I missed. Please decease. Thank. Get away, Ferg. No one appreciates you. Like mortars do. Is it dead? Nope, it's not dead yet. I'm impressed and disappointed. And also covered in ants, potentially. Hi. Did that actually destroy my... No. I don't know. I'll have to figure out a, uh, a full and proper build for this sort of thing. I want to look into shields, but... What is the maximum oomph that I need to actually... Ugh. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. My, my one problem with games like EDF is that I always just, like, want to, uh, want to default to going back to, like, Ranger or, uh, well, I'm dead. Uh, I always want to default to going back to Ranger or, uh, or Air Raider just, just for the convenience of them. Because holy butts are they convenient. Who's got the, the great big blue, uh, artillery going on right now. Oh, it's a wing diver. It's a wing diver gear. Because, yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't... Let's see. It doesn't strike me as a... Uh, let's see. Eh, it's probably not going to hit anything. Oh, wait. I thought this mission was supposed to be Mastermind Reveals. I thought the aliens were supposed to show up. Oh, well. But yeah, that's the Big Plasma 2. Your favorite con. It looks fun! But yeah, I straight up do uh, default to Bike Man whenever anything gets kind of... Tough. That said, the Gallic Heavy Cannon might be kind of interesting. Okay, class equipment, fencer. Okay, instead of the heavy mortar. Uh, let's see. Cannon does have a zoom. Decent range. Good shot speed. Great damage. Okay. Recoil reduction. So that increases the... Oh, shield durability versus shield consumption. I'm gonna just do that for a little while. Uh, let's see, what mission are we even doing? Oh!
Yeah, it's underground. It's probably fine. I don't know. I have no idea if it's fine or not. Uh, let's see, I will say kicks. You might want to switch your entire uh, loadout because the uh, all of those guns I don't think can fire underground. Depth crawler can, but the uh, the rapid fire cannon and single barrel cannons I don't think I don't think those are at all useful. <laughs> 